Life has become unbearable under President Bola Metinobo's administration. Joy Bukwe laments. Hey, they say one that shall never cease to end. Though. Everybody that, that clapped and danced and this, that, and that for President Bola Metinobo during campaign, you know, and uh, all that. They are not lamenting. They don't they change much. Waiting happen. Hmm. See, sometimes I feel say our people, they don't really care for Nigerians. If they care for Nigerians, they would have known the truth. You understand? But people are just hustling for what they will get. And by the time they are not getting all these things, they will start lamenting. We all understand that Joey Bokwe, you know, was one of those people who supported President Bola Metinubu. Not be in fact, Joey Bokwe even started this uh uh, uh, Peter will be supporters are uh, only on social media. Don't also forget that Peter B and J. Bokwe are from one state. Now, the same man, number, number, uh, but he chose President Bola Metinubu, you know, to campaign for. And, well, it's his choice. Uh, it's his choice, an adult. He, know, he knows what is good for him. But don't. After all these things, don't just come and start complaining again. Why are you complaining? Nobody should complain. I'm sorry, the cool boy is in the other side shouting. Joy Bokwe again is this side uh, shouting. Why are they shouting? A chieftain of the All Progressive Congress, APC, in Lagos State, Joy Bokwe, has cried out over the biting effect of the fuel subsidy remover. <laughs> Joy Bokwe said he was recently furious and angry. After buying a 20,000 naira worth of fuel, which he said did not go out of his vehicle's tank, in a post via his Facebook page, on Friday, the APC chieftain said he has now disciplined himself and chooses wisely before he goes to any place. He wrote, I bought 20,000 naira fuel for my four-wheel drive, drive and the gauge did not get to half tank. I thought the petrol attendant cheated me. I was furious, angry. I went to another station. And it is the same. I have now disciplined myself. It is not everywhere that I can go to now. Life is now very difficult. Okay. No, I don't hear him so. Like as I said before now, make anybody know they complain. <laughs> Make anybody not they complain. If you can, if, if you can hit, feel the heat, just tell me how, you know, Nigerians, poor Nigerians are, are, are faring. Tell me how these people, we Nigerians are faring. At least now then they see the money, now they know how. They, <laughs> tell me how Nigerians are faring. This is a problem. What's, what I don't just like is after you you don't do waiting you do finish. Waiting you don't do finish now. You go con the you con the lament. You go chop the gary. Now so it be, be that. <laughs> because when then they talk, so many people feel that na hatred or whatever. Now the question is, are we going front or back or back or, or we are going backward? Well, in another news headline, blow for PDP as Nwike reportedly plans to join APC. Well, I'm not seeing any blow for you because as far as governor, the former governor of River State is concerned, he don't join APC a long time ago. Indication has emerged that the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, yes, Nwike, is reportedly planning to dump the people's Democratic Party PDP. Nwike is allegedly scheming to join the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, which is the party of President Bola Tinubu, the incumbent president of Nigeria. Although Nwike is not a member of the APC, Tinubu appointed the minister, making him a member of the APC dominated cabinet. The latest development suggests that Nwike is set to join APC emerged on Monday morning as 27 River State lawmakers 
who were loyal to him, dumped the PDP and officially joined the APC. Report further hinted that the lawmakers led by fashional speaker Martins joined the APC as a precursor to Weekend's grand move. This implies that they would have concluded plans to switch party, but they decided to join before Nwike so that they would know how members of the public would react. Meanwhile, Nwike and his successor, uh, Governor Fubura, have been embroiled um, in a superiority clash of sorts in the past weeks, which has shaken River State to its roots. The River State House of Assembly seems to be the center stage of the political clash between the two politicians, which has led to the emergence of two fashional speakers, with each lawyer to each wiki or fubora. Well, Nigerians, um, to me, it's not a blow. Wiki has left PDP a long time ago. He has not been working against. He has been working against the party, so he is trying to make the decision officially. He has he not joined APC before the presidential election. It is not a surprise to anybody. <laughs> he stayed in PDP in order to work against the party. So, the support he gave to PDP was for his own selfish interests. He can go. He is no more useful to PDP. Okay, so guys, what's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, don't forget to